All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to Mr. G's Basement. We're doing something different today other than also rolling out of bed and waking up. Uh, we're going to do a movie review today. Today we're going to talk about The Peanut Butter Falcon. This movie, uh, critics say, it's a feel-good adventure brought to life by outstanding performances. The Peanut Butter Falcon finds rich, modern resonance in classic American fiction. Now, Rotten Tomatoes, which is usually my go-to for if a movie's going to be worth a watch or not, gives critic review of 95% and an audience score of 96%, which, stupidly high, they give it certified fresh. That being said, uh, this movie's a tale of uh, Sheila Booth basically taking a Down Syndrome kid on an adventure. It's very Tom Sawyer meets Rain Man. Uh, and that's good in a lot of ways. And they used a disabled actor, which is awesome. And his performance was great. The acting from Sheila LaBeouf uh, and his other co-partner were really pretty good. Um, that being said, I feel like this movie suffers from what I like to call the time life movie effect. Granted, it's a feel-good movie. It had some darker parts, and it's set in the South. The main character's life is a total disaster. Felt like they could have drawn on that a little bit more. But the movie definitely goes down the road of everything's going to work out okay and feel good happiness, which seemed to take away a little bit of the luster for me as I was watching the film. The characters really had a lot of character arcs that I felt like they could have followed up, maybe a darker passage, but didn't. Um, that being said, is it worth sitting down and watching if you watch this movie and you've got your phone? Are you going to be staring at your phone the whole time? No. It's a decent movie. It's a good film. Um, it's a good, decent watch. I would recommend it. It's definitely worth a watch. Would I give it 95%? I wouldn't. I think I'd probably give him more like a 75% on this one. Um, but if you're looking for something to watch and, you know, you like a movie with some good music, it's set in the South, um, which is an underrepresented area sometimes in film, it's a good watch. I'm going to catch you guys later. Maybe bring you some more movie reviews later because I do like movies. Who doesn't like movies? Everybody likes movies. No more jazz hands. Mr. G, just put them down. Put them down. I'm putting them down. Mr. G out.